All right, what's going on out there, everybody? Rooster in Tennessee, roostercb.com. And today, going to do an in-depth video. In, in my opinion, what is one of the best combinations out there right now for the money, and uh, that's the Anytone Quad 5, the brand new version. AM, sideband, uh, multiple channels, or should I say tons of channels for those that like to freeband. Uh, 10k hop all that I have done a uh, in-depth video on this radio before so if you need to check out some of the functions you can always check that video out to my right is the RM Italy 503 HD which in itself in my opinion is one of the best bang for buck amps out there right now uh, you get around 300 to 375 watts PEP output has sideband built in preamp and then an on and off switch for your amp and a six position selector if you want to turn the power down on it. Probably don't have to use that with the Anytone Quad 5 because the way this radio functions, when you adjust the RF power, the dead key actually, the, the output swing actually comes down with it. So uh, a lot of the radios out there now, once they're modified or once they're optimized, you lose the ability to turn your dead key down or turn your peak output down with the RF power knob. Now, if you leave them stock, you probably retain that power, but a lot of people uh, like to have maximum swing. Some people call it a super mod, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. It, it, might, it allows you to drop your dead key all the way down and still swing the full output of the radio. So the way this radio works, the output will come down some as you turn it down, uh, which works out excellent for our 503 HD, uh, especially for sideband use as well. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to put the 50 watt slug in here and we're going to try to get our dead key set roughly where we want it. Uh, generally three to around four, maybe four and a half watts, absolutely max into this thing. I would not key this amp over around 100 watts myself, probably a little bit lower than that, uh, you know, if you're going to get long-winded. If you're going to get long-winded, drop your dead key down a little bit. If you're just sitting there talking normal, having a regular conversation, you know, 100 watt dead key is not going to hurt it. If you feel it's getting warm, throw a fan on top of it. Uh, so right now, we're just going to, we've got the amplifier off, and we're going to set our dead key. So our dead key is all the way down middle scale and that's about three watts so let's see what it swings from three watts pep this is on am audio check one two three audio check one two three audio check one two three around 30 we're going to bump it up just a little bit hello check one two three audio check one 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 boy it responds to that one really well don't it Hello, radio check, radio, radio check, one, two, three, audio. There we go. So that puts us around 35 to 40 watts PEP. Our dead key is around nine o'clock. So what we're gonna do we make sure, uh, is make sure when we turn our amp on that our dead key doesn't go crazy. So let's go ahead and power the amp on. We're in AM mode, amp is on. And take our 50 watt slug out, 50 watt element. And we're gonna put the 1000 in. Okay, so let's check our dead key before we check our modulated output. You know, that's about 80, 90 watts. So, you know, that's the ballpark that we want to be in. So not too bad. And let's go to peak and see what kind of peak output we get. Bottom scale, 1,000 watt slug. Check, check, audio, 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 check, check. So right there around 350 watts uh, PEP. And uh, that's about where you want to be with this guy. Average power. Again, you're not going to see a huge amount of average power out of this radio uh, because you turn the RF power down, the average power comes down with it. But as you saw, we're doing lots of PEP power. Hello, audio. Hello. About 100 watts average or so. So let's come over here, see what kind of current we're drawing on AM. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. 17 and a half. 
may occasionally bounce up to 18 or so, but about 17 and a half amps uh, right there. 100 watts average, around 350 or so PEP. And if you guys want to see the difference, what happens when we turn it up a little bit. Let's go to a 100 watt dead key. Hello, oh uh, yeah, about 19 amps there. All right, so that's going to conclude our AM test. That's how it does on AM. Uh, also, if you want to see what the radio does by itself on AM, let's turn our RF power wide open just for that test. Hello. It's almost four amps. So you know the radio is doing some really good power uh, wide open. Uh, so let's just turn it back. Happy medium there. Uh, to start our sideband test. Pop our, uh, well, we'll leave the 1,000 watt slug in. Uh, turn the amplifier back on, go to sideband mode. So we know we were putting, what, 35, 40 watts in when we were way down here. It's going to change on sideband. It's not going to swing the same. That's the way this radio works. Um, output's actually going to be even lower. It's going to be like 10 or 12 watts if we have it back here on sideband. So what we want to do is, I do need to take that slug out. You guys can tell that these videos aren't like totally scripted. I don't have a, a sheet here in front of me, so. <laughs> Sometimes we go by the seat of our pants. Let's, uh, let's turn that off and uh, see, how much, see how much power we're doing on sideband. Uh, go to the upper sideband here. Now we want to stay at about 35 to 40 watts PEP. Hello, check, check, audio, check, check, audio, check, check, audio. That's not enough. That's about 20. Hello, audio, check, check, audio, check, check, audio, check, check, audio. That's about right. So we had to put it at about 3 o'clock, give or take. Let's go ahead and turn the amp back on. And we're going to wear the slugs out tonight. Let's take that slug out, put our thousand back in. All right, let's see. Bottom scale, bottom scale, bottom scale, bottom scale, bottom scale, bottom scale. It's actually getting with it pretty good. I would probably back it down a little bit right there because we're getting close to 400 watts PEP. So let's back her on down some. Hello, check, check, audio, check, check, audio, check, check, audio. There you go. There's your 350 watts PEP. Come over here. Hello, audio, check, check, audio. Over 30 amps on the audio. So you see the difference in AM and sideband. No, it doesn't draw a continuous amount of power uh, the same as AM, but intermittently it can draw around 30 to 35 amps. So I would recommend 35 amp power supply for this, 40, 50 to give you some headroom. Uh, I guess that's it, guys. I don't think there's anything else to really show. Um, that's the AM output, the sideband output. Like I said, just a great, great combination to run together. Uh, if you guys want to hear what it sounds like, if I can keep it from squealing. I don't even know if I should do this. Probably doesn't do the radio justice, but that's on sideband. That's not going to sound good, is it? Hello. One, two. One, two, three. Check, check. Audio. One, two, three. Check, check. Radio, check. Rooster in Tennessee trying out this Anytone Quad 5. Radio, check. Radio, check. Like I said, that probably doesn't do it justice, but these radios sound amazing. Some radios you out there talking to people on, you get listeners fatigue. They're great for talking skip, they're ear busting loud. If you're competing, that's fine. These radios, they're just enjoyable to listen to. Uh, if you talk to somebody on one of these, you can almost pick them out of a crowd, uh, how good they sound. They're just a really nice sounding radio and they're not weak either, they're not wimps. Um, so they do have some nice loud audio, but it's not to where it's like dragging you down to listen to it. It's nice and clear, nice and even, and uh, plenty of loud. So highly recommend this radio. No, not just because I sell them. I wouldn't sell them if I didn't like them. Uh, there's a lot of radios out there that I don't sell because I don't care anything about them. So if I didn't like these, I definitely wouldn't sell them. Uh, I just really like these radios a lot, and, and I, I recommend this combination to anybody out there. And just as a reminder, I will make someone a bargain. The first person that wants to buy these two as a combination, I'll make you a deal on it. Uh, I'm not going to say how much, but uh, I will make you a deal on it uh, considerably cheaper. We'll say uh, at least 10% off of each. 
uh, for what I normally get on them. If you buy them both together, I'll knock at least 10% off both of them. So maybe more than that. We'll talk about it. <laughs> hope you guys enjoy the video out there appreciate it everybody thanks for everybody's business and uh appreciate everybody that follows the channel here uh hopefully you found this radio or this radio this video entertaining helpful uh maybe maybe not everybody have a good one questions comments shoot me a text 423-299-3535 don't forget to check out the website where you can find this radio and many more that's roostercb.com everybody have a good one see you bye